Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Living Flavors with Sunita. And this video is again going to be the most requested video. I'm going to do the first episode in baby food series. So on this video, I'm going to show you what I feed or what I prepare for my baby for one day. And it is not must that you have to follow the exact recipe that I'm going to do in this video. You can alter it as per your child's likings or whatever your child likes. So come on, I'll show you what I make for my kid. My daughter will wake up at 6 or 6.30 in the morning. So the first thing I do is breastfeed her. I would suggest you all to breastfeed your child at least until they turn 2 because it is the main source for your child mental development and it increases their immunity. It also helps you to reduce, uh, reduce your body weight that you gain during pregnancy. And at 7.30 am I give her some raisins. Raisins help in their physical and mental development and it helps in constipation problems. If your child doesn't drink water this will be a good alternative. Around 8.30 I will start preparing her breakfast. So today I am making french toast. So to a bowl I have added 2 eggs and I am adding a teaspoon of uh, sugar to which I am going to add half a cup of boiled and cooled cow's milk. So the, re the reason why I started giving this french toast to her is uh, she doesn't like egg yolk, she'll eat only the egg whites. So, doctor advised me for, that is for her to gain weight, egg yolks are must. So, I started giving it this way so that she can also eat the egg yolks. So, beat it well so, and to a hot tawa, I'm adding a teaspoon of homemade ghee. Look at the color of this ghee. It smells amazing and I really feel happy whenever I see this, uh, like make recipes using this ghee. And I'm taking wheat bread today and I'm dipping it in the beaten mixture and I'm placing it on the tawa. So I'm going to apply a little more ghee on her slice of bread. And after 2 to 3 minutes, I'll flip it and cook it until they are completely done. This is a healthy breakfast. It has eggs and also the wheat bread. It gives her uh, the main energy so now she is enjoying her uh, breakfast so always do not try to feed your child put it in a plate like finger foods they'll enjoy eating it along with us so this is a small tip so try to follow this it will definitely work out and around 10 30 she'll have a cup of juice it might be different juices along uh, like according to your child's favorite likings or something like that so today she is drinking sweet lime juice we recorded a video but unfortunately it was deleted so give it in a fancy containers or a different glass uh, jar so that they will enjoy sipping it So 12.30 is her lunch time so I am preparing her lunch. Today I am making fish fry and dal rice. So to a hot pan I have added coconut oil and I am adding a fish piece. And to this fish piece I have added a pinch of turmeric powder, salt and a teaspoon of pepper. So pepper gives that spiciness and I am cooking it well on both sides. So fish is uh, a good source of protein as you all know. And for the dal rice. So in a pressure cooker, I have taken half a cup of boiled white peas. So I have already boiled this in pressure cooker for around 3 to 4 visits. These are again rich source of protein. You can replace this with moong dal, tur dal or even green peas. So to this, I am going to add half a cup of boiled that is cooked rice. You can also add uncooked rice but it will take a longer time to cook. So to this I am going to add 1 cup of water in which I have boiled the peas. So it has all the nutrients so do not discard it. And to this I am going to add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and half a teaspoon of pepper powder. Do not give spiceless food to your child. Always uh, put at least add at least a little spice so that they will get used to it. And add salt if required and I am going to cook this for at least 6 or 7 whistles until they are completely cooked okay so it's been uh, like five ten minutes after the pressure has been released so this is the consistency that i wanted because if it is dry my child will not like so i took it in this consistency but it can be mashed well using us uh, using a fork 
do not blend it in a mixer and then give try to give it this way so that uh, they will get used to the digestion then around 2:30 or 3 in the evening she'll eat a banana and around 30 to uh, 50 ml of milk and i'm giving her cows milk. and bananas are rich in fiber so again they help in digestion and it is also known for its instant source of energy and milk is rich in calcium so give it to your child and after one or two hours from then i'll give her again raisins because raisins is a favorite snack and around 4:30 Uh, she ate this rice puff balls it is also a good snack it doesn't have any added preservative sweetener it is full of uh, jaggery so it is good for her health and around 6:30 she'll again drink uh, like around 30 to 50 ml of milk and uh, it is again cow's milk so i somehow got the cow's milk from a vendor and 7:30 or 8 is her dinner time and today she ate the same rice that i made for lunch and sometimes i give her a uh, dosa or idli but rice uh, rice is her favorite uh, food so i always uh, try to give the same food that i make for lunch as well and that's it for this episode i'll be doing several episodes in the future for this series and for that all you have to do is give a huge thumbs up so that i will know this video is useful for you and you are loving this so definitely i'll make a series of this and if you like this video do not forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that every time i upload a new video you will be notified see you guys next time with another interesting recipe or another interesting video until then take care bye